So this is my third and final tutorial video for this initial how to get started in astronaut series that I'm doing. And if you have watched the other videos, you should by now know what you need to buy at the beginning of the of the game, how you need to get to derelicts and how you can start up reactors. Assuming that you've been able to do that, I'm going to talk about what you need to look for when you're exploring derelicts, how you need to enable different systems and what you're going to need in order to survive. And I'll just explain what all of the different systems do as well. So as I said last time, of course, you are going to need a reactor if you want to keep the batteries charged and you are going to need some fuel for the reactor as well. Uh, it isn't essential though. You can run ships off the battery. It's just that with these bigger ships and with all the systems that you're going to be running, uh, that won't work for a long time. The other thing is that you want to get oxygen and uh, basically pressure with the nitrogen working as soon as you possibly can. But if you do have an EVA suit, that could be a solution to flying around with a derelict before you're able to enable those systems. But I think that is a good place to start. So in order for that to work, what you're generally going to see on ships is you're going to need some uh, a couple of different sensors in terms of life support. So if you look through them here, basically you've got the O2 pressure alarm and you've got the N2 pressure alarm. These are hooked up to these uh, basically air pumps that have tanks attached to them. So that is what's regulating the air pressure. You also usually have a heater and you're also going to have a cooling system. That again is going to be hooked up to the thermostat. So if you have all of these systems in place, that's essentially the life support. If all of these are working, you have life support in the ship and you don't need to wear an EVA suit or a pressure suit while you're on the ship. Of course, in order for that to work, you just need to make sure that you don't have any holes in the ship, basically places where the pressure can escape or your oxygen and your nitrogen can escape from the ship. So if you do find holes in the floor or you find holes in the wall, you can replace those with build. So basically, if you go to hull, you can build walls, you can build floors as well. If you don't have materials to do that, you can always just go to other derelicts and get it. You can also just go and you can remove interior pieces of wall and you can move that to the exterior of the ship. That's another way to get rid of it. And then, of course, you also have these uh, hole patches. So if there is a wall, but it has just ruptured, you can see like behind this battery, you can just right click on it and you can install a hole patch there to make sure that the ship is still airtight. And once you've done that, you basically have, as I said, a functioning life support system. Now, other things that you are going to need on the ship. So I'll just walk through it here. Over here, we've got the, uh, let me just see what this is actually called. So this is the system that basically controls the RCS. And attached to that, you have the different RCS clusters. So as far as I can understand, the more of these you have, the easier it is going to be to maneuver the ship, especially with these bigger ships. They can be more difficult to maneuver. Over here, we've got the bathroom. Now, you don't specifically need the sink. That's just if you want to change the look of your character, you can use it for that. But I do think you need a toilet because that is one of the needs that you're going to have to look after. Uh, and then, of course, the beds, eventually, I think you also need that just to, uh, again, it's one of the needs that you need to take care of. Um, then we have the control panel over here or the nav station. So if I use this, uh, one other thing that I didn't show before is that you can click on print status. And this will basically show you all of the different systems in the ship and if they are functional. So I can see that the reactor is online. I can see that it does still have plenty of fuel. I can see that we have four out of the seven RCS thrusters. So this ship uh, basically is probably a little bit less maneuverable than it should be because I should get some extras and install them. Uh, RCS remass is basically how much fuel I've got left to move around. Uh, then backup power is, as the name suggests, just the, the batteries that we currently have installed. If you looked at the reactor tutorial, you'll know how to charge those back up. And of course, you can always get new batteries or more batteries from other ships and install that here. And then we have the O2 stores and you can see that the heat and the cooling systems are online. The final thing that I want to talk about is the airlock. So I'm currently docked at a station, which means that I don't have to worry about the, the vacuum that's going to be on the other side. But of course, if you are going to be exploring derelicts, you want to make sure you have a room like this that is sealed airtight as well. 
And what you're going to do is when you walk into this room, you're just going to close this door behind you. And uh, you can use this time to put on your pressure suit or your EVA suit if you have that. And then you'll only be releasing the air that's within this, uh, this area. If you have a system where you, this door is broken or something in here is broken, for example, that is basically going to vent all of the air out of your ship every time. And that's less of a problem when you have the smaller ship, but when you have this big ship, that is a pretty serious problem. So these are the basics. I think once you understand how the ships work, and as long as you just know that all of these different systems that I just spoke about, I don't think any derelict is going to have all of these systems intact. Usually there's going to be something that's broken, but this is where you either take your small ship and you go and get what you need and you bring it back to the ship that you want to fix up. Or if you don't want to do that, if the ship that you're currently on is good enough to fly to another ship, you can just fly that ship to different derelicts and get the parts that you need to fix up the ship. And that's essentially all there is to it. As always, if you do like this kind of content, do like and subscribe. This is going to be a regular series on my channel. So as there are more updates for uh, astronauts still coming, I will be talking about those in future videos. And I will be creating more tutorials as the game mechanics are updated as well. But thanks for watching and I'll see you for the next video.